Hey everybody, this is Doug Garrison We're back with another video, and it's been a bit of a few days since I've got a chance to do an update video on Atomic Science. Uh, we really haven't had a lot of content changes going on, or a lot of differences happening with things. So, the getting to the more boring stuff first, and then we'll get to the exciting stuff at the end here. Uh, so, some of the boring changes have really just been some minor tweaks and adjustments. There's been some uh, additional uh, mechanical changes with how the side checks actually work for these machines and stuff so a few of the machines did not have proper side checks back when i did the last update video uh they're now in here their slots are colorized uh, only the fluid tanks still have side checks i'm not going to worry about the input output slots at the moment because they're not exactly necessary to kind of get the machines to run properly but these will actually input output check properly to the sides they actually go to uh they of course don't do the items as i said but uh you can actually take the wrench and let's go ahead and grab the wrench here and actually tweak these. Let me go ahead and get this set to blue here and then get this set to the fluid. So you can tweak these to shut them off and stuff and they actually will shut off properly now so you won't have uh, thermal expansion trying to shove stuff into the pipe wise uh, so they do actually work properly. On top of this the outputs actually do also work on these. I don't know if you said, yeah they do have output things. Uh, so the outputs do work properly on these as well so these will actually stop outputting fluid which is the thing when the previous version that i released was not something was doing properly that has been fixed well i wouldn't even say fixed it just it was flat out missing so it was implemented um so that's been done not much in that regard uh there's been some tweaks done to radiation death let's go ahead and go over here and actually let me dump all my items in the chest so that way i can find them later I don't want to have stuff spewing all over the world. So I've added some mechanical check, uh, changes to that, so that way you actually have side effects. So let's go ahead and set the game mode zero. Will not affect you in creative mode, which is now a new change as well. So we get to that, so your radiation will go up, and then we can actually start to get effects. The first effect you'll start to get is hunger. After that, you'll start to get different effects, weakness, uh, slowdown, mining fatigue. They're really now really light effects. I'm going to come back and tweak them and work with them a lot more. And the, Some of the effects are going to be transferred over out of the potion effect system to a more permanent uh, degradation type system. But right now, potion effects are work, so you get slowness. It doesn't really slow you down too much, so it's just kind of a minor nuisance type of thing right now same with mining fatigue and everything else uh you start to get effects a lot higher when you start getting a lot higher sicknesses you'll start getting nausea nausea will come and go it's not too bad it's just a really mild nausea here we'll see it pop up about 8,000, i believe is when it starts to pop up these are all probability based as well so the more radiation sickness you do get the higher the probability it is actually of applying and you can see the nausea apply and turn off and apply and turn off and everything else. I did make that intentional so you don't get this constant nausea effect. So that way you get a really slow, you're that way. And as soon as this gets to 10,000, the character is going to start to die. I will be tweaking this and making this not as quick of a death in the future. Because I don't want it to be like that where you just fall over dead. I wanted to give you a chance where you can try to fix the problem. Uh, but you will get radiation from a distance as well. And you will actually get affected by it. So let's go ahead and sh uh, set our game mode to one again, so we don't die. The second thing I want to show off, which let me go ahead and remove the rods from here. Oh yeah, this thing's going to automate rods. Isn't it? Let's get rid of that pipe. Don't want rods back in here. So what I want to show off for this one is that uh, the radiation decays a lot lower at distance though. And if you actually start hiding behind things, you will actually start to take less radiation. So if I'm standing here in the purple thing, which is exactly the same distance as what we're going to be standing over here, I'm taking 98.21 runs a second. And if I come over here and stand on this, 38. The only difference between these two is I have a stone wall between me and, and there, and that's actually affecting the radiation. This was not a feature in the previous version, has been added. There is actually now a ray trace based system that will actually check uh, what radiation level to stick at each tile. And this is based on the tiles, it's not based on the entity itself, so it's not recalculated constantly. Although I had to put a temporary uh, fix in that every five minutes the radiation system will reset and recalculate. This is to fix things like block placement, so if you're placing a lot of blocks and putting them around and everything else, uh, it will recalculate but it won't recalculate actively so it won't be recalculating while you're building it will recalculate every so often and uh, do that so you will see a slow dip off and then recalc of all the radiation which is unfortunate i will be working on a way to fix this in the future to make this not as big of a problem where it has to recalculate uh, massively in that regard uh, the plan is to hopefully procedurally do it and of course catch some values so that way instead of a full map reset we have just an update cycle uh, but it, at least we can now block radiation through walls and everything else so you actually have thing uh, at the moment, how it works is that every block gets a 5% degradation. Um, blocks that are transparent get half of that. 
So if it's not a, if it's not a solid opaque block, so if it's not even a solid block, it actually will ignore anything that's not solid. So if you get some stuff like grass, it just ignores it. Uh, air blocks are ignored. But if you put something like glass in here, so you put like glass panes in here, it's only going to give you like 2.5% um, actually blockage. Water has a higher percentage. I think it's at about 10-15%. Um, stone gives you a higher percentage as well so the stone's a lot higher up on the percentage metal blocks give you a really high percentage and of course here later on we're going to be adding blocks based on their material type of what they can block and how much degradation is going to happen off uh, there'll be two systems there'll be a percentage based system of blockage and then there's going to be a actual full-on stop um flat line based so you'll have materials that can block say like 100 grads from getting through them and instead of that being a percentage base it'll just be a flat out base uh, blockage and that'll be for things like graphite in the future because what we'll do is we'll make graphite not a, a uh, actual blocking material we'll make it something that just weakens it down by a flat material value so that way if you had 100 radiation you put graphite around it and you would stop the radiation but uh, that's been about all for the updates, really short, uh, unlike most of our videos, and I'll be back with more updates and content, and I'll put a link to the download of Atomic Science, because it is out on beta release now. Uh, the versions that contain this content will be released here either later today or here in a couple days as an alpha version if you want to test these features. Uh, but that's been all. I'll see you guys later.